Hi, I'm Jamie Wall with the Entertainment News for Tuesday. First of all, here's today's trivia question. What school was Paul Simon attending in 1964 when he dropped out to become a full-time musician? The third play in Alberta Theatre Project's Nova Playwrights 88 Festival is The Color of Coal. It tells the grim story of the Bellevue mining disaster in the Crow's Nest Pass back in 1910. You're crazy to both of you. Oh, I miss my English. If a fire comes, it will not be with little snippings. There will be smoke enough for you and me and Keckle. And if a fire comes, then you will know exactly what to do. Oh. Aye, and what's that? Burn. Die. What else? There, now I tell you all you need to know about fire. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Very funny, I'm sure. When playwright Clem Martini was writing the script, he realized that the mind had a personality of its own. So he decided to have actors wearing hoods represent a living, breathing mind. It was a killing force. When you realize that uh, almost all the mines down there at one time had major explosions, fires, uh, bumps, uh, mines collapsing, people were killed all the time. You have to somehow generate that kind of, if you want to call it personality, on stage. Not the best way to do it. I mean, you have actors available. Get the actors to do it. One of the few Olympic Arts Festival events for children is Winter Play, a series of skits, songs, and vignettes about winter and play. All of the plays were written by school children from all over Canada, and Quest Theatre has dramatized them. There were over 2,000 entries, a hard choice for the judges. There's a remarkable, remarkable imagination out there with young people. Um, uh, there was a tremendous range of, of stories from very fantastical stories about winter and play to uh, very personal stories about instance, instances that have happened to a young child in, in, their, in their lives that concerns winter and, and play. Tomorrow night is the Olympic Folk Festival at the Jubilee. Some of the folk stars include Baldy, Spirit of the West, Rare Air, Connie Caldor, and Calgary's Margaret Crystal. In trivia today, the question was, what school was Paul Simon attending when he dropped out to devote full time to his music? The answer is law school. Simon was voted favorite male pop vocalist at last night's American Music Awards. I was glad to see him win, but it did surprise me because he hasn't released an album since Graceland back in 1986. For the Entertainment Report, I'm Jamie Wall.